beautiful people i am seema saran ek a best woman and today i have something incredible news for you all all the linux user all the cli users if you are watching this video then you must watch the whole video because i have something for you all okay so on 16th september github released the cli version and it's pretty awesome if you really don't know what it is why should we use that how should we use that then you must follow this video whatever i have learned in just about 2 hours i will share everything with you all okay it's really easy if you are already a github user or git user you can easily understand it it's really easy okay github just made our work easier than ever with github cli you can run your entire github workflow from the terminal so it's really cool that whatever we were doing through the gui version of github or using our the app called github desktop we can use we can do that from the cli version itself so you can use either command prompt for, for that if you are on windows and or the favorite editor if you are on mac you are really rich and you have some money next is you can call the github api to script nearly to run any action and set up custom allies for any command yes you can modify your commands you can name it whatever you want whatever you remember if you don't remember the real command it's up to you and you can make a pull request you can create an issue you can visit your repository make changes make a pr everything that you did on github.com you can do it on github cli so it's really cool with just some commands you can do all the things that you were already doing github just made our work easy you will be thinking that what how can you use that so the first thing you need to do is install this on your system install it on windows mac linux so if you're on windows you can go to this website called cli.github.com and you can just click on this link download for windows and we know that and we know after this what will happen it will download a dot msi file and you just need to do next accept the agreement if you don't accept that sorry you are not able to use that then next 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 and then install finish and then you are ready to use this github cli and there we go i am using my favorite code editor that is vs code someone in the comments asked me that how I use bash terminal in my VS code though I'm in Windows. So it's really easy. I have already installed git bash and you just need to do is select default shell and then git bash. That's pretty it. If you don't like command prompt because I don't remember any of the Windows command though I'm using Windows but I like a bash terminal more. Let's start with our demo. So the first thing you need to do is log into your account. Obviously, it's CLI. So you, the first thing you need to do is log into your account. So the command to log in is gh auth and login. That's it. Okay. So it will ask us two options. What account do you want to log into? So I want to log into github.com or github enterprise server. So I will use github.com. So it says you are already logged into as Seema1711 because I, as I said earlier, I already used it. If you are using it for the first time, it will prompt you a token code and you just need to put that in the browser and authorize the app uh, for github and there you go now you can use github cli okay so i'll just say no so i'm logged into my account i'll just show you how you can clone a repository in your local system 
So to do that, I'll use GH repo clone CMOS 1711. And so this will be the thing that whose repository you want to clone. You need to type the owner name of that repository. The first is CMOS 1711. So I want to clone this user's repository. But which repository? So I'll use slash and then I'll name the repo. So I'll clone all YouTube projects. So this is the repo name, this, okay? And before slash, it is the owner name, okay? And this command, what it does? It clones the repo in our local system. So it will just clone the repository into all YouTube projects. And if you don't understand any of this, you can follow my previous video on Hacktoberfest in which I showed how to make up a request from making a change to a repository and committing and pushing to a repository everything that you need to know before Hacktoberfest and if you don't know Hacktoberfest you must check out that video it was really awesome I got some really good feedback on that and some people really made a made their first pull request after that video and they shared the uh, messages and it feels really awesome if you are the one who watched that video liked it thank you just watch it it's something yeah it was good actually so it has really some good insights share my videos if you want to help people or anything thank you if you want to help me thank you okay so the next thing we are gonna do is change the directory from desktop to all youtube projects so i am in my repository you can see that before that there was no master and now there is master if you don't know what a master is you can check my previous video that i have mentioned so the next thing is i can see what files does this repository have so it has demo for chrome extension license etc okay and also if you want to make any changes you can use a bi editor yes editor in a editor recursion <laughs> and yeah i want to change something in my readme file so yeah i want to change what i want to change so if you don't know how to use vi editor maybe i'll make another video on that it's really easy vi editor is so common among linux users and if you don't know let me know in the comments i'll make that video too okay so i'll just add some text okay add some text i'll just add this how cool so i'll just save it I have saved that chain so this was how you can uh, clone the repository and this is really the basic tutorial and if you want to explore more of the CLI commands you can check out this URL called CLI.com and manual I'll share the link in the description box okay so don't worry and it has all the CLI commands, alias, delete, list, set, for configuration, for gist, for issues, for PRs, for release, for repo. Everything is in that manual. So just explore this manual and it, it has really some good examples. It shows how you can use that and etc. Okay. So just explore more. And thank you guys for watching this video. I really loved making this video. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and, and 
you can also you know subscribe to my channel it's up to you you can share my videos too thank you see you in the next video